Lesson 16. Lesson 16 is building off of lesson 14, and this time we're working with more complicated evaluations. So what we have to do here is evaluate this expression given these values. And we're going to go through the same process that we did before. We're going to insert parentheses wherever we saw the, value, the variables, and then put the values in for that. So we've got negative, then we've got an A, so wherever I see an A I'm going to put a parenthesis. Then we're just going to copy this out. We've got a bracket minus a. I'm going to put a parenthesis there. Then we've got p minus a, so I'm going to put a big parenthesis, and then a small parenthesis for p, minus a, a small parenthesis for a, big parenthesis to close off this one, and then we've got our bracket to close everything off. Now, this time I'm going to use a different color in here so we can see what values we have. We know a is equal to negative 4. So in those three spots where we saw an a, I'm going to put a negative 4. So we've got negative 4, negative 4, and negative 4. And then the one spot in the middle where we saw p, it's negative 2. p is equal to negative 2. That's what it tells us. So we're going to substitute that in. Now we're going to work from the innermost parentheses out right here. And then we're going to solve this problem step by step. So we have negative 2 minus negative 4. Double negative, so we're going to turn that into a positive. So we're going to have our parenthesis. We've got negative 2. And then we've got plus 4. Okay, We've got a closed parenthesis there. And we can solve this in our next step. Well, we've got a double negative here, so that must turn that 4 into a positive 4. We've got our bracket, and then we've got a double negative 4. That just turns into a positive 4, and now we're ready to solve. We've got negative 2 plus 4. That's 2. So we've got 2. I'm just going to use the one set of parentheses on the outside there. We've got 4 times 2, and we've got our brackets, and then we're going to multiply that answer times 4 in the end. We know we have to do everything within the symbols of inclusion first, and here are our symbols of inclusion, those brackets. 4 times 2 is 8. Put it in the bracket, and then we're going to multiply that times 4, and we get our final answer. Our final answer is going to have to be 32. 32 is what we get, and we're all done. Now let's look at another one. Let's say we have this. And these are looking a bit more complicated. They're really the exact same process with a step or two more. And we'll get more efficient as we practice these. So let's put our parentheses in. Wherever I see B, I'm going to put a parentheses in. OK, we've got the B. We've got the bracket minus B value, B minus C. minus. C minus B. Now this is the most important part of this process in terms of making sure you get the right answer because you've got to get everything in the right spots making sure that you have the negatives and positives as well in the right spot and the other parentheses. So wherever we see B we're going to put a negative 4. See two B's in a row. Whoops, next is C. I'll skip that one. I'll skip this one. And then the B is negative 4, so I'll substitute that in here. And then C is negative 6. Everything else is a negative 6. So now we can go ahead and solve for our problem. Sometimes in these problems, the math is actually the easiest part. Substituting in takes the longest. We've got double negative 4. That's 4. Then we've got, maybe you can hear the thunder outside, a bit of a storm today. Double negative 4 is 4. And then we have negative 4 minus negative 6. That's like saying negative 4 plus positive 6. We're gonna, uh, we don't close it off yet. Minus, and then we've got negative 6 plus 4. And we've got our bracket. And now we can go ahead and work from the innermost out. Now these two are both innermost. They're both a parenthesis within a bracket. So we'll just start here. It, you could have started here. It doesn't make a difference which one you do first. So we're going to get negative 2 because negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. 
Then we've got, this is all subtraction. We've got negative 4 plus 6, that's going to give us positive 2. That's being multiplied by 4. Close that off with our bracket. And multiply that all by 4. I'm not going to put this in parentheses again because it means multiplication either way when the number touches the symbol of inclusion. That 4 times 2, that's 8. Just going to rewrite, so we're working from left to right. Double negative, that's a positive, so we've got positive 2. So we've got, this is going to be equal to 4 times 8 plus 2, 8 plus 2 is in parentheses, we do it first, we get 10, we get 4 times 10, and 4 times 10 is equal to 40. So we're all done. Step by step, we come to our answer. And if we show each of these steps, we're much more likely to get the answer right rather than just working from one step maybe all the way to the end. Be sure to show your work as you go through these. Lesson practice next class will be on page 73. Please make sure you get your notes done, come prepared for class, and have a nice afternoon.